Okay, let's do our first neutralization reaction. So we'll use this same acid, the ammonium ion. Okay, so neutralization reactions. Happens when acids react with bases, okay? Things that have negative charges are bases, okay? Things that have positive <coughs> charges are acids, almost good follows, okay? Um, and in this class, that will always be, okay? Introductory chemistry will always be for you. Anyways, so things, molecules don't, don't like to have a charge, okay? They will if they have to, but they don't like it, okay? So. This guy here has a positive charge, you don't like it, right? This guy here has a negative charge, you don't like it. This guy here, as we learned before, wants to, likes to give up that proton, right? And this guy here, if he got that proton, would become water, right? Become a very stable <coughs> molecule. So, it's to each other's benefit to transfer this proton, okay? So what happens is a proton transfer or a neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction happens when a base reacts with an acid, okay? So watch. Base reacting with acid. Okay. And in fact, this is the equilibrium is going to lie to this side. Yeah. Right, it's going to go that way. Why? Because these are relatively unstable relative to the products. Why? The products are not charged. Okay? The reactants are charged. So what are the products going to be? Can anybody help me? Yeah. In H3, with its lone pair of electrons there, right? And H2O, how many lone pairs will the oxygen have? Two. So what you want to think of is that these, this lone pair here, I don't know, I should have done a different color because it's looks white. Um, that lone pair there made that bond there. Okay? So is that cool with everybody? Does everybody understand? So this thing's called an acid. So remember, an acid has a conjugate base. It's the same structure without that proton. So which one of these over here, on the right or on the left, is the conjugate base of the ammonium ion? NH3, or ammonia. So I want you to write down here, conjugate base. And every base has a conjugate acid, okay? And that's just the base plus the proton. Okay, I'm going to erase this because it's bugging the crap out of me. So it's the base plus the proton. So that's the conjugate acid. You could think of it the opposite way too, though, right? What if we wrote this? over here, and this over here, right? Then this would be the acid, this would be the base, this would be the conjugate base, and this would be the conjugate acid. So it all depends on which way you write the thing, okay? Acid-base reactions, because they're in equilibrium, go back and forth. <coughs> I know we didn't do any problem also with Le Chatelier's principle, but, um, uh, or didn't do many problems, but, uh, what will happen is, you know, we can push this equilibrium back and forth depending on what we put in, okay? If we put in a lot of this, it'll go this way. But if it's just like this, right, these are less, unsta or these are less stable than these, so it's going to want to push the reaction that way, naturally, okay? Are there any questions on this? You guys get this?